There's so much I want to ask you. There's so little I can tell you. I'm a portal, not a scientist, but I'll certainly do my best. I can only assume this is one of your older starships. One would think, given the importance of your mission, they might send a ship of a more recent vintage. Hmm. But, uh, <clears throat> apparently not. The Resolute is primarily a research vessel, if that's what you mean. Not a warship. Although, she has been known to hold her own in a fight. Against what? Something wrong? Not at all. The galaxy has grown more diverse since the days of the Takan Empire. Because you conquered everyone who didn't look like you. To the contrary. Most lesser civilizations willingly join the Empire to enjoy the benefits of an advanced way of life. But that expansion came with its own set of problems, so... I admire your ability to diversify without creating conflict. That was always our challenge. And perhaps... ultimately our downfall. Hmm. <laughs> Mm. The Federation prides itself on its inclusiveness. I'd say it's one of our greatest strengths. As the Vulcans say, infinite diversity in infinite combinations. Interesting. I'd be curious to meet one of these Vulcans. If this is the best you have, then so be it. To locate this scion, Galvan, I'll need full access to your ship's systems. Full access? Huh. You must be out of your mind. No. I'm right here. Completely in my mind. Given this is merely a research ship, I won't be able to find him without it. Perhaps hmm. I should have made that clear up front. I'll need to make certain modifications. Hmm. I can't promise anything, but let me see what I can do. Just know, without it, I won't be able to help you. This isn't gonna fly. I'll see you on the bridge. Captain Solano, I'd like to introduce you to Portal 63, Guardian of the Takan Empire. Pleasure to meet you, Captain. Likewise. I can't say I've ever met a portal before. There is no modern equivalent. Not within the Federation, at least. He's been kind enough to agree to help us find Galvin. I am at your service. To whatever extent I can be of help. If nothing else, I'm sure you're happy for a change of scenery. You spent 600,000 years at your post. That certainly takes an uncommon level of dedication. We all have our duty. Of course. But I'm curious. You were stationed there in preparation for what exactly? Any and all threats to the Empire. An Empire that no longer exists. Which suggests you weren't very successful. You said you needed my help. I didn't come here to be insulted. <laughs> Perhaps that was a mistake. I'd be happy to return to Delphi Ardu at any time. Of course, the fall of the Empire had nothing to do with you. We know that. Do you? Because it seems your captain has a different opinion. I'm merely curious where your allegiances might lie. Clearly it's with the Takan. Yes, Captain. You have found me out and exposed my true loyalties to the Takan, not to the Scions of the Flame. Who do nothing more than tarnish us in name and reputation and don't deserve to be called Takan. That's why I'm here. And if you'd be so kind as to give me access to your ship's systems, we can get on with it. And you can stop wasting my time. Access to our systems? That's completely out of the question. Tell me that's not what you promised. We're vulnerable enough as it is. And now we're supposed to give him access to everything? Captain, I understand your concern, and I don't necessarily disagree. Ah, now I understand your reluctance. 
I never imagined offering to help would be met with such ignorance. If you're not enjoying your visit to our ship, we'd be more than happy to let you wither away back on your pathetic little rock. Captain? You clearly do not appreciate the magnitude of the threat the science pose. So myopic is your focus on your own ego. I will not be leaving until they have been found. Commander Ryder, a word. To think I waited 600,000 years for this. You realize this must be in an incredibly difficult position. I was against seeking him out from the start, but now, to give him access to our systems? It's insane. And you somehow expect me to believe his allegiance is with us? You heard what he said in there. There's no way we can trust him. We talked about this on Delphi Ardu. The reason he's here is because he's with us, not them. He came to help us, and he wouldn't be here otherwise. We can't afford to get this wrong. We sought him out for a reason. To help him find our missing crew, Galvin, and those Elidian ships. This is the plan we agreed to with Ambassador Spock. Which I never liked. But here we are. You know what this mission means to us. Not just for the Federation, but for me personally. I can't afford another screw-up. Losing the shield algorithms was bad enough. This... This could be the end of my career. We'll take every precaution to make sure we get what we need. I'll keep a close eye on him myself. I appreciate that. I'm going to trust your instincts on this one. I just hope you're right. For both of our sakes. Let me know if you find anything. We're good. You may begin. I will, of course, have to make a few modifications. What kind of modifications? To find Taconian technology requires Taconian technology. If this Cyan Galavan modified his ships, then I must do likewise to yours. <laughs> Okay. The galaxy is nearly infinite in size and complexity. This may take a moment. How long I will found it take? something. There you are. What is it? Galvin? Someone is using Taconian technology. I can't get the precise bearings, but. It's located in the Palisades Cluster. I'll let the captain know. Mm. Rydic to Solano. I think Portal may have located Galvin. I'll be right there. I'm getting all kinds of interference. Almost impossible to lock on the energy signature. Where's he hiding? In the Palisades Cluster. Interesting. Can you lock in on the location? Not until you get me closer. Lieutenant Handar, set a course for the Palisades Cluster. Aye, Captain. Well, I suppose I owe you an apology. You were right after all. That's what I get for questioning the advice of my first officer. You always have my back. No apology necessary. Your concerns were valid. Nonetheless, I should learn to trust your instincts. We're absolutely right. Nice work. Let me know if you find anything more. Will do. What's wrong? I didn't want to say anything until I was certain. But the reason for the interference is simple. There's a Taconian device on this ship being used to block the signal. Whoever planted it was exceptionally clever. They knew how and where to hide it. But... They have underestimated my abilities. Engineering. Take care of the Taconian device, and I can find Galvan for you. It's designed to interfere with all transmissions, or at least mm. delay and confuse the effort to find Galvan's ship. Hold on. 
My understanding is that Takan technology requires a Takan to operate. Is there another Takan on this ship? The Scions could have someone on this ship, doing everything they can to stop us from finding Galvan. Don't worry, I'll get this fixed. We're going to find that ship. Engineers would have found this device already if it wasn't well hidden. Better to rely on my tricorder. Cool. That's better. Most other radiation sources in here are well contained. There's definitely tetrametric radiation nearby. But even with the gain boosted, it's getting drowned out by other sources of radiation in here. D'accord, ok, 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 ok. Un petit peu de harmless radiation leakage here, mais suffisant pour masquer les pulses tétrométriques. C'est facile de les cancer. Il y a encore quelque chose qui est en train de se faire dans la radiation tétrométrique. J'ai besoin de le trouver pour que je puisse le filtrer. Tiens, 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 bon, allons voir par là. Ah, c'est bête, on peut pas courir. Hein. Jeffrey's tubes thump harmonics from all over the ship. I'll filter that out. There we go. I'm getting a clear tetrametric signal now. Excuse me, do you belong here? Commander Rydek? I'm sorry, I, I didn't know it was you. Paul. Calloway, right? Yes, I... You know, it means a lot that you remembered. What the... Uh, are you doing back here? I, I don't mean to pry, but... First officers don't usually go digging around engineering compartments. Sorry, it's not something I can go into. Right, of course. Forget I asked. There is one thing you can help with. Have you seen anyone else in here recently that might seem out of the ordinary? Maybe someone who doesn't work in engineering. Not that I can think of, but I can ask around. I'm here almost all the time, but maybe someone else noticed something? That would be great. Just be discreet about it. I don't want anyone to be alarmed. Discretion is my specialty. Well, I'll leave you alone already. Oh, come to think of it, that Hotari woman was down here earlier with Dr. Duvall finishing the last of the bioscans. Tylus? That would be out of the ordinary, right? Thank you. saw something. Tylus, can I speak to you for a moment? Of course. Is something wrong? There's something happening. I may need your help. 
This is important. How can I help? When you were in engineering with Dr. Duval, did you notice anything out of the ordinary? Or anyone? Not particularly. Why? I found this, hidden in a compartment down there. That's Taconian technology. Does that mean there's a Scion on board? But Dr. Duval bioscanned everyone. Every deck, every crew member, I've seen the logs. She couldn't have been more thorough. Someone evaded detection and planted that device. Which would mean they've been with us this whole time. Watching, listening. All the more reason why we have to find them. It could be anyone. That includes both of us. You want me to get scanned? Better to know for sure, right? I'll admit, I was around the Scions as much as anybody. You don't have to do that. I trust you. If it makes you feel any better, it's not me, I promise you. I know. But that doesn't mean it's not you. Okay. Clear. Don't sound so surprised. You spend plenty of time with the Scions as well. You never know. Let's get to it. The search starts in engineering. Whoever planted the device most likely did it within the last few hours. So I'll start by running a scan, tracking everyone who came through engineering over the last day, in reverse order. This could take forever to sort through the number of people that were in engineering. Filtering for outliers. People who don't work in engineering. Mm, that helps. Cross-referencing this list with everyone who's traveled to Hotari. Now this is manageable. I'll filter out the duplicates. Let's see who's left. No. This can't be right. What? Of the people that went to Hotari and visited Engineering, it could only have been... Captain Solano. According to this, he was here while you went down to Delphi Ardu 4. Which would have been the perfect opportunity. And no one would question him. He's the captain. As much as I hate to admit it, assuming it's true, it does explain why he was so opposed to getting help from Portal. And he made several trips to Hotari. So they had plenty of opportunity to target him. C'était tellement logique, en fait. <laughs> what happened when Dr. Duval bioscanned Captain Solano? That's just it. She never did. How is that possible? Something more urgent would always come up. There was nothing she could do. But performing a bioscan is the only way to be absolutely sure. That's not going to be easy. First thing I need to do is get this device to Portal. Be careful. And good luck. I'll need it. I found the device. Deference is gone. I have located Galvin's ship more precisely. He's in the Usonia system. So then it worked. This whole region was one of the most sacred for the ancient Takan. What many consider the birthplace of our civilization. See these comets and planetoids in the outer orbits? Based on their current trajectory, that's Galvin's destination. And legend tells us it's the location of what was once our largest arsenal. Not that we needed it in the late stages of the Empire, but it was there as a precaution nonetheless. Can you stop him? Cripple their ship somehow? I'm afraid they are too far away for my powers to reach them. We need to be much closer. And even then, they may have defenses against what I am able to do. 
If Galvin and the other science secure the arsenal, they will become extremely dangerous. My people had such power at the height of the Empire. The Dakon were as gods, keeping absolute control over countless worlds. I must speak with them directly. However, the presence of this device is worrying. It's highly likely it was placed here by a scion hidden among your crew, and it is unlikely this interference device was the scion saboteur's only trap. If we reach Galvan and the saboteur cripples your ship, we will be at their mercy. Even my powers will not be able to protect us. Do you know who it is? They may well do more damage if left alone. Time is not on your side. Just leave that to me. I hope to resolve it soon. The longer you wait, the more time we lose. Bioforme was so rare in the time of the Empire that I am not able to detect if it has taken place. Whoever you suspect, proof is something you will have to provide on your own. I'll have it. Once I've bioscanned the person I suspect, I just need to visit Dr. Duval. It's quite the claim. You told me you were worried about it. I never imagined this was what was wrong. I wouldn't be asking you if there was any other possibility. I would explain why Solano has been too busy for a bioscan lately. As the ship's doctor, you have the authority to declare him unfit to serve. If you're right, this is the worst case scenario. Challenging your own captain is a tall order. Are you sure you're prepared for this? If you fail, that's it. The end of your mm. career, maybe your life. I don't know if I would be on my own, but with your support, I'm sure we can do it. Well, that smooth talking may come in handy. I'm in. We can't pull this off with just the two of us. I technically have the authority to make Solano undergo a scan, but in reality, he can and will refuse to do it. We need at least another member of the senior staff to support your claim, or this could all blow up in our faces. Think long and hard about who you can trust. must be able to brute force limited bursts of warp output. Yeah, but they won't get to wherever they were headed at this rate. They're just limping along now. So where does that put us? Maybe I can answer that. Bon, ça fait plaisir de revenir en compagnie. J'aime bien au final ce perso. Ah, je le trouve vraiment cool. Hein. En fait, euh, je trouve vraiment cool les deux persos qu'on a fait jouer. Ils sont totalement opposés euh, sur plein de points. Donc c'est vraiment chouette quoi. Ok. I got the ship's heading. They've changed course drastically. Looks like they're headed here. The Usonia system. They might stop there. Can we use the Zeldi's comms to signal your fleet? Our comm systems are locked. Grab hold! Zeldi is still made by Olydian hands, spirals to calm corruption. We'll hold. We just gotta stay safe until Starfleet can find us. Your people, 
Is there somewhere you go when you die? Life after death? No. On my home world, some people think they can cheat death in a way by joining with the Trill symbiont. But that's not a life to me. Hmm. What about you? Is there another plane of existence for you? With every passing battle, as I get older... We only get one life to live. I'm not counting on anything coming after I close my eyes for the last time. Then you may never understand this, but please try. My people have a special journey. When Alidians die, we rejoin our comrades, family, and ancestors. On the parade grounds of Cirella? That is just one part of it, but yes. Death is not the end for us. So, even if some part of Itasca remains, by letting the Takan use her body, at best we are delaying the inevitable next step for her. At worst, we are leaving her as a prisoner in her own mind. You want to save the transformed. So do I. Now that I've seen it happen, does it make me a hypocrite to say he has a point? What if we can't get them back? We can't leave them like that, right? I think Itasca would want to be released. To think of what she could be going through right now. It's a torturous idea. I know it's awful to think about, but... If they're still alive, we can still try to help them. We lose that option once they're dead. I had a sister. A twin. It's very rare among the true. You never told me that. She was one of the youngest hosts to ever join with the Symbian. A sentient creature that lives in our body. It's considered a great honor. The Symbian can bring centuries of knowledge and wisdom to the host. But sometimes, the Symbian personality suppresses the host entirely. My sister was the closest person in the world to me. I knew she would be different after joining. But she drew more and more distant. The room we shared growing up was foreign to the both of us. And eventually she, or whoever she'd become, cut me out entirely. So I left for Starfleet and swore I'd never go back. I couldn't stand the thought of seeing her. Someone who looked like my sister. You should try to see her again. When all this is over. Maybe things have changed for her after you've been away for years. I, I couldn't go back. Not now. You remind me of Itasca. I do. Bonds are not made by what runs through your veins, but the blood you spill together. Itasca was my family in that way. I want you to know there is nothing I won't sacrifice to win this fight. But if we're lucky enough to survive, I'd be honored if you'd count me as one of your tribe. As Itasca was. Even a couple of engineers like us? I don't need to wait that long. We've bled together. No one else will know what we've been through. That makes us a tribe. Right here. I'll take that. They not cease this madness! Is that... the Veskar? Another one of yours? Not anymore. They've corrupted it. Just like the Zeldi. Now there are two ships. Did this just get better... or worse? It certainly doesn't bode well for the crew of the Veskar. So many lives... stolen. We're really at the heart of this fight now. We just gotta figure out what we're gonna do about it. This doesn't look like the Ophelia. What are they doing here? You don't think they're just meeting their buddies? Maybe, but... Then why are their buddies here? Prepare for transfer. The storm! It's back! What happened? Hold on. I'm scanning. Tetrometric radiation is dropping. The Zeldi's dropped to minimal power levels. It's running off just the one warp core now. 
That means they've sent the cartabula to that other ship. Hmm. Something wrong, Captain? No, nothing's wrong. In fact, I was just going to call for you. I'm needed down in engineering. The bridge is yours. Faire confiance. Bon. Commander Westbrook, a word, please. I'm busy here, so let's make it quick. What's this about? The captain may have been compromised. I have reason to believe he's been bioformed and is now actively working against us. Come on. You can't be serious. Someone is sabotaging the mission. They planted a Taconian device in engineering. Captain Solano was in engineering while we were on Delphi Ardu 4, and he purposely evaded Dr. Duval's bioscan. That's ridiculous. I just spoke with him a few minutes ago. He was as normal as ever. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have work to do. Listen, I know we've had our differences, but I need you to hear me out on this. What evidence do you have to even support this preposterous claim? I'm working on that. Right. You've rarely put your trust in me before. Which, ironically, only makes your story more believable. You're clearly not looking for whoever is most likely to go along with you. If you go through with this, and you're right about Solano, You'll be the new captain of the Resolute. As first officer, it is my duty and responsibility to protect the interests of the ship and its crew when the captain has been compromised. I'll have your back. But you damn well better be right. Bon. Qui donc maintenant It's now or never. Captain Solano. Commander Rydeck, we need to talk about. Doctor? What brings you to the bridge? Just a bit of housekeeping. You owe me a bioscan, Captain. I don't have time for that right now. It will only take a moment. I, I can't put this off any longer. You can and you will. All you'll find is that I'm quite reasonably under stress given the circumstances and you aren't making it better. I'll find you in sickbay when I'm good and ready. Or, if you're gonna stand in the way of the mission, I can find you in the brig instead. It's merely protocol, Captain. All officers that touch alien soil have to be bioscanned. I know the protocol. It's not more important than chasing down these Taconian marauders. The crew looks to you for guidance, Captain. It may seem like a nuisance, but it would set the right example. What is this? We need you to comply with the scan, Captain. That's enough. Drop this. All of you. 
I'm giving you a direct order, Commander Rydeck. Stand down and go back to your post. Now. Do not make me tell you again. I've been a starship captain since before you were in the Academy. I'd follow that order, if you were actually Captain Solano. Well then, there's only one thing left to do. Security to the bridge. Arrest Commander Rydek. Take her to the brig. On what charge? Conspiring with the enemy and mutiny. Captain, please reconsider. I've given my order. This is not Captain Solano. He's been bioformed. He's a scion. You're out of your mind. Commander Rydek has proof. He sabotaged our efforts to track Galvin with this. He planted it in engineering while we were down on Delphi Ardu 4. Lies! Perpetrated by the only Takan in our midst, Portal 6-3. He's actively trying to divide us from within. Captain Solano has refused to be bioscanned because he knows it will reveal he's a scion. Take her to the brig or I'll do it myself. Wait, stand down. That's an order. What is the meaning of this? Everyone hold until we get answers. This cannot happen on the bridge of a Federation starship. I can prove I'm right if you just give me a chance. If I'm wrong, then I will face the consequences. If you're wrong, there's no coming back from this. I'm going to settle this once and for all. Commander Rydek was right. Captain Solano has been compromised. He's been bioformed into a Takan. As the Chief Medical Officer of the USS Resolute, I am relieving Captain Zachary Solano of command. Take him to the brig. Du coup, c'est ce qu'il va faire de moi désormais le capitaine. J'imagine encore. I don't know what to say. I'm stunned. We all are. Well, there's no going back now. You are rightfully the captain of the Resolute, and I'm with you from here on out. I need you to know that. Unfortunately, we lost one of the best captains in Starfleet. You know how much I admire Captain Solano. Can't even imagine how much I'll miss him. But what's done, he's done. Set course for the Usonia system. Maximum warp. It's time to face Galvin. Yes, Commander. Sorry. Captain. Allez, On your command. À la prochaine. Engage. <laughs> 